Hello everyone. I've got a Dollar Tree haul today. I'm really excited about because I've spent most of the summer looking for some of these items. So yippee, <laughs> we've got the mother load. Yes, I do, I do, I do. So first off, I guess I'll get the one that uh, I've been excited to find. It's that native one that supposedly this is a dupe of, or this, wait a minute, get that reversed. This is a dupe of the native. So this is Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash by Personal Care. This is Dollar Tree. Let's have a, <laughs> I can't tell you how anxious I am to see what these smell like. Oh, I don't need to do that, I guess. Let's just smell it. Oh. I'm smelling the coconut. No, no, if I'm smelling the vanilla though. You know, I can't say I'm just absolutely over the moon. I don't think I'm not gonna like it, but you know, I was <laughs> great expectations, right? What would Charles Dickens say? Yeah, great expectations. I'm not sure. It's coconut, and I like coconut, but it just, no, I don't know. How about the sea salt and cedar? Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that cedar smell. What would the salt part be? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know salt had an odor, but I'm smelling kind of a pineish. So that's that one. Okay. I think I'm going to be happy. I'm happy. Okay, this one, the pumpkin one. Yeah, pumpkin spice. Let's see. <laughs> that's rude. Where'd that go? You know, I like this one. Good enough to eat? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's interesting. That's an interesting odor. <sighs> what is it about you want your stuff to smell like food? <laughs> That's a food I like for you. All right, here's the baby I've been looking for. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I'm hoping it lives up to everything. Sugar cookie. Oh, you lovely thing. Wait, let's see. Yeah, I'm liking it. It smells like snickerdoodles. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, you know, there's got to be essence of soap in here too, right? <laughs> and I'll be about eating. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I like this one. I can't wait to use it. I'll update you, but I'm smelling uh, like a baked uh, snickerdoodle. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that's very fine. Very fine. Worth the wait. You know, that's a thrill. And kid, speaking of this kind of cookie scent, this is my favorite um, wizard one from Dollar Tree. This is called Vanilla Cookies, and I love it. This is awesome. I'll buy this every day of the week. This $1 tree that I found it at, you know, I don't know why they, they're getting this scent, <laughs> but every time I go in, there they are, and I take one or two of them. Yes, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. So that's Vanilla Cookies by Wizard. You know, this seems like a good buy, 16 ounces for 70% um, rubbing alcohol. You know what I use this for is to uh, make sure my ears don't have any extra moisture after a shower. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys use it for, but that's my main thing is uh, cuts and stuff like that. Then, I'm no doctor. <laughs> Baby aisle. This is for the cats, for the kitty cats, for the locking of the... Uh, cabinet doors. They really like to find stuff, so I'm hoping, you know, I'm not really sure how this works. Let's take a look at this. For $1.25, it's a very good buy, if it works. 
So there we have it. Okay. Ooh, I, not what I expected at all. That is an adhesive that you stick on and then you put your, it's like a silicone rubber mechanism between it to lock the doors. And so how you would open it is how, how would you open this? Yeah, this is not what I expected. I guess you just take the whole thing off. No. Oh, this might not work very well. Yeah, the ones I've seen before have slid. So, um, you know, I can be really dumb about stuff. I'm not an engineer. And this would be difficult, maybe, to peel off every time. Huh, is that how that works? Do you have to undo the side of it to open the... I don't know if I want to do that. I much prefer something that could just dangle on the... Hmm. I'll let you know on that one. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, a... I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. Yeah, every time you open it, you have to press it back onto the disc. Hmm, I don't know if I like it. Don't know if I like that. Depends on how easy this is to take on and off, I guess. You know, maybe it won't be so bad. I'm such a sissy. There, you know, it's not so bad. Maybe not, maybe not. You guys think about it for you. Yeah, I think it comes off, but that's like ripping it off. It's not overly easy. Well, I guess it has to be baby proof too, huh? And in my case, it has to be cat proof just to keep those little hands out of stuff. You know, they don't drink stuff or anything, but it's still scary for me. And on the baby subject, how about the zinc uh, diaper rash cream? That's the same, uh, you know, the 40% zinc oxide is what's in some of the, you know, like Desitin and some of the others. This is Playtex brand, um, Playtex baby. So, and it's a smaller size. This is two and a half ounces for $1.25. So I think that's a reasonable price. I think I paid something um, for four ounces. I think I paid over $3. So yes, I think this is a good one. I think that probably is a good one. Next, next, next. Books. I got a couple of books, and that's the end of my haul. This is it. This is gone. So I got Olga. This is by uh, Bernard Schlink, and he was the author of The Reader, which was a famous movie, too. The Reader with who was in The Reader? Um, Kate Winslet and Ralph Finnis was in The Reader. So he wrote that story. So this is Olga. And I think it's pretty neat. It's a poignant portrait of a woman out of step of her time, which I think I qualify. Olga. I think I'm going to like it. I like it. I like this style so far. Then here's another one I picked up. The Truth About Lies. The Truth About Lies by Ala Raiden. Aja. Aja. A-J-A. -A. The Illusion of Honesty and the Evolution of Deceit. And I think that's pretty good. Let's, I'm interested in that. Her qualifications. Aja studied uh, ancient history and physics at the University of Chicago and worked as the head of auction division of the, at the Fame House of Khan. Whatever, I don't know about that. And she was a senior designer for Los Angeles-based fine jewelry company, Takori. She's a jeweler, a trained scientist, and a well-read historian. And she lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. She's the author of the New York Times bestseller, Stoned, Jewelry, Obsession, and How Desire Shapes the World. That's interesting. I think this is going to be a good one, and I'm anxious to read that. Here's another one, another one. 
You know, these books were not cheap originally. Uh, this is like a closeout at Dollar Tree. Amir Alexander, it's called Proof. It says how the world became geometrical. And I love that. I love that. I love that. I love math. I bet you didn't know that about me. I love math. And uh, Amir Alexander teaches history at the University of California, Los Angeles. He is the author of Infinitesimal Geometrical Landscapes and Duel at Dawn. And he lives in Los Angeles. Well, sounds interesting, doesn't it? It says, um, he traces the path of geometrical vision of the world as it, sh as it courts, coursed its way from the Renaissance to the present, shaping our societies, our politics, and our ideals. Geometry. Anxious to see that one. And here's an odd one, an odd duck. I thought I'd read this one, Mar-a-Lago. This is Inside the Gates of Power at Donald Trump's presidential palace. Uh, what caught me on this? Why did I want to do that? In addition to the copious interviews and reporting from inside Mar-a-Lago, Lawrence Lemur brings an acute and unparalleled understanding of the Society of Palm Beach where he has lived for 25 years. He has written an essential book for understanding Donald Trump's inner character. It's gonna be interesting. Um, he taught, the author taught in a mountain school in Nepal during his time in the Peace Corps, as well as worked in a factory in France and a coal mine in West Virginia. He has written 17 books, including five New York Times bestsellers and an off-Broadway play. The award-winning author's books include The Kennedy Women, The Pride of Justice, and the Edgar-nominated The Lynching. He lives in Palm Beach and Washington, D.C. Should be interesting. So I'm... Um, those were Dollar Tree finds. It's pretty nice, but there's my haul. That's all I got. That's all I got. Wishing you all the best. Come back, please. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.